Hello, my name is Rick. You're at this video today because you went out and Googled, likely Googled, um, what are the different types of telescopes? So I'm here to talk a little bit uh, very briefly about that. Um, this is one of a, a, a number of series of astronomy videos that you're going to find that I've made. My objective here is to make them specific to specific questions, providing those answers. Two to three minutes top, so here we go. I'm going to jump right into this. What are the different types of telescopes? Well, there's really essentially two. Now, this is the one that most people commonly think of when they think of a telescope. This is a refractor, and it looks like that and is usually mounted on a tripod. Now, this telescope, you can tell a refractor is a refractor when you look in the end here, the end of the tube, and you see lenses in there. So that's how you can tell if it's a refractor. And again, typically it's most often on a tripod mount. Down here there's a, a prism and an eyepiece uh, spot for your focuser down here on the other end. So that's a refractor. <clears throat> it's really a series of lenses in the tube. The other telescope is uh, a reflector and I like to think of these as light collectors um, and they will sometimes be tripod mounted. Other times they come in the form of a Dobsonian reflector like this one. And really if you look into them, Anna, can you, uh, my wife is actually manning the cam camera the video. Howdy, howdy. <clears throat> can you see in there? Can you see the mirror in there? Uh, yeah, I think that's what yeah. we're seeing. I so mean, I what, see something down so in there. So what you see when you look in a reflector... Well, it's the bright shininess uh, that you guys are an saying. actual mirror down at the bottom. So you got a big mirror at the bottom, a little collector mirror here, and then your focal tube, your focusing assembly is here. Now, the difference between the two is that due to the lack of lenses in the actual telescope, on a reflector, these are generally less expensive. I like to think of these as a great starter option just because they're great to just grab, throw in the car. Now, they are bulkier, generally, um, than a, a, a reflector on a tripod, but once you get out to where you're going to observe, these are much easier to handle and uh, you can go ahead and, and use them very easily. It's just a two-piece assembly, basically. So, once again, the two basic types of telescopes are a reflector and a refractor. Um, the reflectors are generally less expensive. The refractors have some benefits. They're generally a little more portable as far as their size. They're smaller. Um, and then there's also some hybrids between the two, which we're not going to go into because those are generally much more expensive and kind of what I consider a specialty telescope. I hope you found this video uh, informative today and enjoyed it. If you liked it, please click like and share. Um, you know, guys, expensive hobbies like uh, astronomy, it doesn't have to be necessarily expensive, but it can be. And so can uh, like photography, for example. Um, they take time and they take money. Um, if you're in a position where you're thinking about astronomy but you have concerns in either of those two areas, I invite you to go to www.workwithrickandanna.com and check out what I do to get more time and money in my life. Until the next video, have a great day. Thanks for watching.